Greetings, fellow dragon fruit lovers. This is Paul with another dragon fruit review. Now, this is an unknown variety that I collected at Elk Creek Dragon Fruit Farm, and I labeled it Elk Creek Unknown Number One. Now, I really like it. It's a magenta flesh fruit, and you can see that it has these really long, unique bracts. And I find it really interesting. I hope to find out more of the history on this plant someday in the future. Now, you can see the large fruit here weighed in at 94 hundredths of a pound and it actually brixed at 19 and 3 tenths. Now, brix isn't everything, I agree, but it is a good indicator about sweetness and it's a score, a rating, a percentage that helps us understand the potential for sweetness, in my opinion. Now, you can see there are some differences, possibly due to pollen source. They look a little bit different here. This one reminds me of K1 undatus, the, the outside a bit, and the bracts are more firm versus these being more soft and flexible. So possible different pollen sources may have affected that, but either way, these are great delicious fruit. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Now the one drawback I could think about this variety is that it does break down in the heat waves. So when we had our heat wave, I had to toss a bunch of the fruit because it turned gelatinous. Oh man, that's great, it's really sweet. And you can see it's kind of broken down a little bit here. So that's one problem with this variety. But it also puts on this late season flush and I get a bunch of these beautiful fruit in the fall. So this is October 30th today. And you can see just these sweet, delicious fruit. Nice and complex. This is definitely a hybrid, possibly maybe of like a Guatemalan and a, and a Dadis? I'm not sure. I may never know, but I really, really like this variety a lot. Now the second fruit here, you can see it brixed at 18 and 5 tenths. So not quite as sweet. Let's see how it compares to this other one. Wow, much different flavor between these two fruit off of the same plant. And the sweeter one tastes really, really sweet. And this one reminds me a bit of American Beauty. Really good. But I do personally prefer the sweeter one. So really beautiful colored flesh. I wish I knew what variety this was, but Elk Creek Dragon Fruit Farm is a really important farm historically because most of the varieties that are grown commercially in the farms in Southern California source their plant material from this farm. And over the years, they were given many different hybrids and unique plants. So I've collected several. And sadly, most of those plants are dead now because the farm, the owner has retired and the plants didn't get much care. I did rescue a few though, like an Asunta too. Mmm. But going back to this lovely plant, I've given away a few cuttings because I like it so much and I want other people to try it. But just be careful. This plant starts to break down once we get in the upper 90s. So if you live in an area prone to heat waves over 100, be careful growing this in my humble opinion, because again, the flesh really breaks down. But man, when this fruit's ripe like this, I personally give it a nine out of 10. I think it's absolutely delicious. I think it's pretty, really sweet, and just a very unique variety overall. So there you go. This is the Elk Creek Unknown number one. Beautiful variety. Give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks for your time. Have yourself a wonderful day and take care.